I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matter. Today on Dark Matter I'm going to show you how to use a tripwire in Minecraft and you can use it with your redstone devices or your redstone traps uh, to set things off. And basically what a tripwire is, is it's just a switch or it's a different type of switch. You cross over it and as long as you're on the tripwire or as you're crossing over the tripwire it will send a pulse out. I'll start out by showing you how to make a tripwire hook. They're really easy to make. First you start with a plank and you put that in the center square of the bottom row of the grid of the crafting table. Then in the center square of the crafting table you put a stick. And finally you take an iron ingot and put it in the center square of the top row of the grid and you have yourself uh, two trip wire hooks. Uh, so let's see how we set up a basic trip wire real quick first. Take a tripwire hook and put it in a block here, and we put one in the block here. Now we need to connect these two hooks with a string, but we do not need to put a string underneath where the actual hooks are. We just need to put it uh, on any block that's in between the two hooks. And so what I do is I take a piece of string and put one in the middle on this one, and since there's only three blocks, that will connect the two. Now if I step over here, and then back off you hear that it clicks so it's almost like a pressure plate in that sense that it, while you're on it it's down and uh, it comes back off when you step off of it uh, so tripwire is presumably harder to see and so you walk across there and it will set something off so that's the basic function of it now I'm going to use this uh, tripwire here to show you actually uh, the tripwire actually doing something. I have a piston on this side and I have some redstone on this side. So I'm going to step on the uh, tripwire and you see the piston comes out and the redstone goes on. And if I step back the piston goes back and the redstone goes uh, off. So here's a little trick. If I take a uh, torch and put it right down here, a redstone torch, you'll see that this is lit up over here and if I step on the tripwire the redstone stays on so, no, so nothing happens there with that now if I put the torch right here and you see it's lighting up the redstone so that it's on top of the stone where the tripwire is if I step on the tripwire that red torch goes off goes on goes off. So you probably wonder what good does that do? Well, what if we put another stone here and we put a piston right here? Then you see that piston stays out. So when we go on the tripwire that piston goes out. Now this one's going in because it doesn't have a current going to it. So you can see you can make the pistons run in opposite ways uh, by just using a redstone torch. Now the advantage to this of course is you could have it so that um, a piston closed and uh, water or sand came down or something. You could use that for some sort of a trap. So that's the advantage to that. So that's that's one trick you can do with the triple wire right there. So now here's the next little trick. You do not have to have the trip wire right on the ground. You could have it up in the air like this. And if we take a piece of string here and click on this uh, tripwire hook you'll see they'll, they'll connect and if I step on it you see the redstone goes on redstone goes off so it trips it as I go over now we have uh, two tripwire hooks that are way far apart so I'm going to put a piece of string here but doesn't connect them yet so I actually have to put a string on every uh, block in between the two until I get to them. Now the hooks have to be in a straight line uh, from one end to the other so, you, so I couldn't displace this other hook over here and uh, try to bend the wire around. It has to be on a straight line so that's something to remember. Now if I step on this the redstone goes on and it goes off. Now similarly if I, if I get rid of this and get rid of all this
and I put a hook down at the bottom here, and I put a hook down, get rid of that. Put a hook down at the bottom here. I have to stretch the wire all the way across, and there they go. They connect. So, so you have to do that on the ground as well. All right. Now, there's another thing you can do right here, uh, and and this is kind of interesting right here. Suppose you want the trip wire to go off here, but you want something to happen farther down, and uh, you want whoever's walking through here to get to that area, area. Say you had an arrow right here. Well, you can use these uh, relays right here and you can set them on a delay. And so when I step on the wire, you see it delays it by the more of the relays you have in a row, uh, the more it will delay it. And I have another video on relays and I'll put a link to that video in the description of this video. Uh, to show you more precisely how to use delays and everything. But that's another thing you can do if you need to delay something. If you need to have a trip wire in one area and have it do something in another area that's not right next to it. Now the other thing we can do, we'll run all the way back here, is we could do something like this. We could put a dispenser up here. Let's put it right here. And put another dispenser up there too. And I'm going to go into the dispenser and I'm going to put some arrows in there. And I'm going to put some arrows in this dispenser as well. Now when I walk across, it will shoot arrows out of either side of that. And you see the arrows sticking in the block there. So that should actually hit someone if they were in... Uh, survival mode. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go into survival mode right now. And you can see that uh, I have uh, my bars coming up there for uh, life and hunger. And so if I go in here and hit there, you can see that I went down uh, one dot. Let me get through it again. He's missed me that time. And there I, I got knocked down a dot. So the, the actual arrow did hit me right there. Now, if you don't want these dispensers like right here above the trip wire, if you want them down a couple, you could use the relays to slow it down. So that, that's how you would, another way you might use a relay is by putting the relay down here and then putting maybe a dispenser here. And that way, you could time it so it's slowed it down so if somebody's walking through uh, it will hit them as they're walking through at, at a normal speed of course the timing on something like that is uh, has to be a little more precise if you have uh, the dispenser right here or if you had the dispenser straight in front of them pointing at them uh, you'd have a better chance of hitting them an almost definite chance of hitting them alright the final thing now if you run into a trap that has a trip wire on it the only way you can disarm it without triggering the trap when you break the string is to use a pair of shears. So if you cut the string with a pair of shears, the trap will not go off. If you try to cut the string with any other uh, tool, like a pickaxe or whatever, it will break the string, but it will also send a redstone pulse out and it will trigger the trap or the machine one last time. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.